Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a very um, cranberry yet smoky at the same time look. I really love this. I'm a big fan of cranberry. So, so yeah, I love cranberries, especially dried cranberries. And I actually do this look on the 8 color palette that I got from eBay, which is kind of exactly like um, Coastal Sands palette, but the arrangement of some of the colors are not uh, exactly the same, so you may need to check with your Coastal Sands palette on which color that I actually use if you do have Coastal Sands palette. So, yeah. So, if you want to see how to do this, keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. I already primed my eyes with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and even on any kind of uneven skin tone with my Pinkly Paint Pot by MAC. So, now I'm going to do a different technique today. I'm going to do the outer, uh, the darker shade first before I do like any kind of color on my lips. I'm using a very dark brown color on my outer V, which almost looks like black, but it's not black. I'm gonna use this color, which is a ring. And taking my Sigma 275 brush, get it at the tip, tap off the excess, and sort of do a red shape. This is your sort of your arm beam. I like mine. It's very easy to determine where at which point you should stop. So look straight into the mirror and just the the place where it folds is the place where you need to stop. So it's something like that. You can trace it first and kind of like smudge it blend it like the tip of the brush so blend it just a bit so that you don't have like a harsh edge to it okay then take just a little bit more and go right under your lower lashes, kind of connecting it with the. Then take your Sigma 239 brush, and I'm going to take a very uh, a cranberry color, which is this one. It doesn't look like cranberry. It doesn't look like a cranberry color. Um, off the face, off the palette, it looks kind of like brown. But when you actually put it on your lips, <laughs> the the cranberry color actually shows really, really well. So take your brush and just pat it right at the center of the lid. Turn away any harsh edges. I'm taking my Sigma 224 brush and take any kind of um, warm brown, which I'm gonna use this color and get it at the tip of the brush tap off the excess and go right at the brow bone just slightly below the brow bone where the color meets and just blend it away intensify the outer V again I'm taking any kind of black I'm taking this black, which is, yeah, it's just any kind of black. Get it at the tip of the brush. And use the same um, brush that you do for your outer V, just right at the tip. And you're gonna just gently flip it right at the edge. Take your fluffy brush again and sort of blend it. Now I color, take a very nude, bright nude color. I'm gonna use this, which is very close to my skin tone, but it gives a little bit of 
some brightness and get it right at your uh, right at your brow bone. The inner corners, I'm gonna take a very soft pink, which kind of like it's a kind of. I'm gonna take this pink, which rematches the cranberry color, and I'm taking a stiff stiff brush like the Sigma 252 brush get it on one side of the brush and just apply it at your inner corner kind of sweeping it upwards so that it blends and take just a bit and go right on your lower lashes then you have to line your waterline and your lower lashes and your tight line I'm using my Dior carbon um, eyeliner pencil and just take it right on your lower lashes and line your waterline all the way and your tight line any kind of um, eyeliner line your upper lash line I'm using my Maybelline Impact which I find it the application is very smooth and because it's it's in a pencil form it really uh it is really designed for easy application which I love. Set the eyeliner right at the bottom. You're gonna take a black eyeshadow and take an eyeliner brush like my Sigma 266 brush and just stamp it. So now for the wing, I'm not going to do a parallel wing, I'm just going to do a wing that is, you know, swoops down which kind of gives a very fun look. So just angle your brush really well and do a wing down, kind of stopping at where your upper wing is, so that. So what is left is just some mascara and four lashes, and when I come back, I'll show you what I do on my cheeks. I'm gonna use a coral color, which I always love using this. This is my Bobbi Brown uh, shimmer blush in coral number three and take any kind of um, blush brush or any kind of contouring brush just sip it right at the apples of the cheek for the lips I'm using my um, Creme de Nude by MAC which is a very nice um, a very nice nude colour it's not as nude it's not very very nude but it, it's nude it's nude enough <laughs> so I used this for my lips and I did a bit of gloss over it with my Shiseido's um, gloss in PK223 and that completes the look so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you very soon bye